Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are in Satisfactory again today, kicking off the week on a Tuesday, a little bit earlier today. I've got a busy afternoon later, so I thought I would kick off the stream a little bit early. There is a new episode of The Spawn Chunks out right now. That's at The Spawn Chunks on YouTube or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Uh, we talked about Ender Pearl mechanics and some of the latest changes in the, the, uh, the new snapshot for Minecraft. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and I've got a recording for the Citadel Cafe coming up tomorrow, the 13th celebrating 13 years on that podcast and we'll be talking about arcane season two the first three episodes so it's a busy week here in the studio and uh, we're back of course in satisfactory picking up where we left off with devastator uh working on some of the designs and i'm hoping to get like the internal floors mapped out as best i can uh hopefully we don't have to move too much around for that uh right now the big thing that's in the way of course is all of the hypertubes but we'll have to figure that out as we go a uh, big thank you and shout out to Delara for resubbing. That's 39 months. Holy crap. Uh, thanks so much, Delara. Coming up on the big 4-0. Appreciate the support. And Loki, Loki 2 has resubscribed. Tier 1, two months in a row. I've played more, uh, I've paid more for this than coffee this month. Priorities. <laughs> thanks very much, Loki. I really appreciate the support. Very, very kind of you. Uh, welcome in everyone else to see uh, Snuggly Boo Bears around. I've got Sweet Sandy, Dan Blast Jordan, lots of regulars kicking around the chat. Sweet Sandy says 100 bits to kick off the hype train. Thanks so much, Sandy. Really, really appreciate that. Let's flip over to the uh, the game screen. Oh. Load a game. Let's go with this one. Folks, that's a hype train. If you'd like to participate, you can grab 100 bits, a tier one sub or a prime gaming sub, and that will enter you into the hype train. Uh, helps support the channel. You also get an emote from Twitch. Uh, and either one of those subs, a tier one or a prime, will get you access to the Joel Duggan Discord. Okay, so we left off here uh in devastator having basically constructed i think the the basic form for the chest plate uh there's going to be some details and lights and other things added uh, as we go on but right now we have a pretty decent start i think to this chest plate so you've got some depth and detail happening the lights happening oh i'm just realizing we missed a spot how did we do that over here? Is it just normal? Just normal stuff. Dan, thanks very much. Glad you like it. So that's all good there. And then we also have the top is done as well. So it kind of goes into place here. And then this was the idea here behind uh, the top part. I think I wanted to have this a little bit taller. I think I had pushed it back for some screenshots. But the idea here, I think, is that we're going to have this floor be roughly here. So this would be the view from the top, which I think is pretty cool. So the other issue, of course, is what happens on the inside with all of this stuff. And what are we going to be building on which floor? We also need to figure out uh, the inside here needs to have a wall. We need to have like a, a decent space. I would say we're probably good right here to say this is going to be a wall, hey? Which means we can get rid of this stuff. Tin Mirin subscribed at tier 1. 24 months celebrating two years. Wow, how time flies when you're having fun, says Tin Mirin. Thanks ever so much, Tin Mirin. That's amazing. Two years, holy crap. 
A uh, minute and 38 seconds left in level one of that hype train. Snuggly Boo Bear jumping in on the hype train with 100 bits. Thanks so much. Appreciate that, Snuggly. I think I also have to, have to think about like what's happening on the sides here. This is very, very open and, and unrefined. Uh, I think we might have to think about what's happening here. I think in order to do that, I may have to take a look at what I want to do with this section here, this green section. I want to add some depth to it. And I want to say we're going to put a line right about there would be my guess. A little indent. I don't know if that's going to match up. What I should probably do is think about where the floors are in here. Which I believe I have done in this space. Why is all this dark? What's this? Oh, Ooh, I see. a button. No wait, it's an emote. No wait, it's a sticker. Blast Jordan, thanks so much for the 200 bits and the TTS sticker. Appreciate it. Thanks ever so much. Uh, that is, there's 15 seconds left on that level one time train. We're at 95%. I believe those 200 bits from the sticker went towards the hype train. Pretty sure. That must have been an error last week where it didn't happen. Sweet Sandy with 100 bits at the clutch. 99% with one second left. Kicking us to the level two of the hype train. Level one is now complete. Sweet Sandy, thank you ever so much for the 100 bits. We've got a new new timer. Four minutes, 35 seconds. I should see if I can find something to put up on screen for the hype train. Like I should see if I can get a hype train, automatically have the timer, maybe throw it above my camera or something like that. That would probably be really helpful. I th I'm sure people in chat can see it, but it'll be better on screen, I think. Twitch was twitchy, says Bless Jordan. Uh, yes, Twitch is often twitchy, as we have discovered. All right, so this looks like it might go up through. That's the one, two. So this is the same level here. Guess I could just use this. Alright, so that does look like it lines up pretty well. So we can decide in here how big we want these floors to be. And if I wanted to cut through this part here, we'll just have to see where that lines up with the 4 meter chunks. I was thinking about here. And that looks like it does line up nicely. Yeah, so probably take, hmm. It's gonna be a little bit tricky here. I think we can do it though. like there to be probably a half foundation indent. And I guess that means that we'd have to have a full foundation on the top here. And then 
the same thing on the bottom. So what I'm thinking is trying to get this to look like it's got some sections to it. I'm trying to think which reference image is the one that I like the best. I do like... Some of them are more solid than others uh, in terms of his torso. He's certainly beefier around the waist. I've got him going, going a little bit skinny. I might have to beef him up a little bit. Where did I see the ones that had the lines in it? Oh, you know, maybe I'm just, like, making this up as, like, an impression. Because I'm not actually seeing what I was looking for. I mean, we're going to want to have some depth changes. Oh, crap. I opened up the wrong app. Hmm. Yeah, I like uh, I like that top left where there's a big difference between like his upper chest and his lower abdomen, but I also like the right where there's like those those horizontal, almost ribs, happening. So maybe we'll go with that. And maybe this can come out at an angle. Uh, Jason Wall, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. And thanks very much for the hype train to kick off the week, folks. Very, very kind. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll add another one up here, too. So somewhere around this level. Yeah, probably there. Now it would be really cool if I could also get this to come in here a little bit.
I like the bottom one for sure. The top one we may not keep like that. I like the idea of some stuff coming down over the top of this too in the front. So we may end up doing something like that. And of course, that doesn't work for there. How, I guess it would have to be a foundation. At level 10 hype train, this becomes a chess stream. A chess stream? Nope. Not even close. Chess has never been of interest of mine. Thanks very much for the 200 bits, Loki. Appreciate it. Um... What was the title of the first VOD on your 1.0 Let's Play series? Uh, Cybertron, there's a playlist. If you look for the playlists on my VOD YouTube channel, then you should see the Cybertron 1.0 new playthrough. Uh, I don't remember how many VODs there are, but it would have started on like September 10th, whatever the launch date was for the, for the game. And the VOD would be like September 11th or September 12th. It would have been posted pretty pretty soon after. Um, don't know about the shape of that. I like that chunky bit better. So we may, we may actually raise this up instead. That could be kind of fun. The way around. that better. I like that better. This tin just comes straight out. As long as we go up in sections of two meters, then it should be fine. And then I guess back here, we'll just do a four meter, four meter section. the details later but I think that looks pretty good
Hmm. Maybe it would have been better to have that up there. Yeah, probably better to have that up there. That's fine. Easy fix. Oh, thanks for checking out the VODs, Jason. That's awesome. Jay, Chris, hello. Good to see you. What's up? Yeah, I like watching Cub Fan play Satisfactory as well. I mean, Cub Fan's a fun, fun dude. No matter what. Uh, I think maybe we'll... Not sure what to do with that top one. Maybe we don't have that top one. Or we just have it go down and stop, maybe? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, maybe we will keep this one. Looks okay. Yeah. And these could be, I don't know, they could be windows, they could be lights. Do all kinds of stuff with them. I feel like these could maybe even have more more depth going on to them. Could I make those green? It's not terrible. know if I have a green version for that. We'll have to get into the details a little bit later. But I like this overall shape-shifting part here. Uh, that does mean, though, that this is going to go back a bit. before it connects to the next building. And then of course, this is probably gonna go back as well. 
That's the full chest plate. So this is actually going to be the start of this part of the building, and it goes flat there. I'm pretty sure that's how his chest plate goes. It's really quite flush. The only thing that sticks out are, are these silver things on the end. So that's fine. That'll be simple for us on the back side here. So this just has to get back far enough to disappear and we're good. And I think, I think we'll probably go to here. Is that on the same level? It is. Nice. So that's where this would probably connect to this building, even though this building is not finished at all. At least it gives us this, this corner. I would probably want to get that a little farther away from that, actually, now that I'm looking at it. It's probably going to be better to have this go up back here. I mean, this just has to go a little bit farther. It's a weird space. We'll have to deal with that somehow. I'm not sure what we could do. We might be able to have some hyper tubes and stuff swinging around in there. That could help. I also think that might be better for it to be a different color. We'll have to see. We we'll probably stand out more. If there was more gray or black or something in the background there. Oh yeah. So the green stands out way much way way better. Way much? Wow. Joel does words. Good thing I don't talk for a living. Um, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Very cool. That hypertube is going to be distracting, so I'm going to move it. Words are hard. You're right, Snuggly. They are. I was also talking all weekend uh, at Halcon doing moderation for some sci-fi panels and comic... Well, comic panels at a sci-fi convention. Uh, we are just going to take this around the back, I think. Oh, hey, we don't have to go up and over anymore. One less of those. It's probably a nicer ride, too. Well, almost. really get stuck around the corner.
Okay, so that means that this is going to get cut off here. I need to get a green that will be good for um, concrete. 85, 8, and 55. That's the right one. And it's this one. Need to go test this in natural light as opposed to spotlight. That's close. Experimenting begins. There's always a balance between when it gets too bright. Oop. Just out of curiosity. Goes to white. Okay. Still pretty dark on the coated concrete. I feel like that's the one that was the best. I think that was 1.4. Yeah, I'd say 1.4 is the way to go. Okay, so I'll save that as Devastator Green Concrete. Now we know. I didn't click on you. I'm not sure why it's not going away. And then if we do coated concrete, this is a little bit darker. So we'll probably do coated concrete underneath here. Then regular concrete on the top. Try the whole thing. Cool. This one, I think I may make deeper. Kind of fun.
Cool. I think that's working. Oh, do I want to? I think I wanted to carry this back. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted. Uh, this side, though, I wonder if we can get away with doing like a half foundation rotated this way. I guess this top part would need one too. Yeah, cool. Uh, Grumpa 1974, hello, welcome in. Hope you're not calling yourself old with your your username, because you're too close to me <laughs> to be calling yourself old. Uh, now these, I feel like we can just change to walls. And that should take care of that form. I'm not entirely sold on this design there, but we'll have to see what we can come up with here. Better than nothing, so maybe we'll keep it for now. At least gives it a little bit more detail. And, oh, those are coated concrete. That's why they look so dark. I actually don't mind the, the transition to a slightly lighter texture. It works out okay. That feels very Transformer-like, I think. I'm not entirely sold on these bits here. It's what the grandkids call you. You're not old enough to have grandkids. Shush. Well, welcome in. Uh, appreciate you saying hi. I, yeah, we're going to go take a break because I lost the light. Somebody turned off the light switch. Somebody turned off the light switch. All right, folks that are new to the channel, uh, we take a break here about once an hour. Uh, it is close to that, uh, but because Satisfactory has a 50-minute day-night cycle, uh, it's five minutes of night and 50 minutes of day, uh, we tend to line them up with this. Oh, well, maybe not. Not when there's a raid. Hold on. Yuri Marcus, hello. Welcome in. Let me get somewhere where y'all can see what I'm doing. Let's back up somewhere cool. While I do that, let me switch. Welcome in, folks. Thanks ever so much for that raid. Yuri, uh, what were you up to today? I'm assuming satisfactory. Let me know in the chat. Uh, anybody that was on Yuri's stream, feel free to chime in as well. Uh, there's a shout out in my chat for Yuri. Uh, please go give them a follow. Check out what they were doing on Twitch. 
Actually, it was Factorio. Wow. Okay. Factorio. I, I've only ever tried Factorio once. Uh, and I did not like the whole bugs attacking me thing. So I went to Satisfactory. Uh, the Wii Woos are bringing some extra positivity. Well, that's awesome. That's very, very cool. Uh, here, let me show you what we've been doing. I'll switch back over. Hate to raid and run, but I have to take the little man to swimming lessons. Hey, no, a family comes first, obviously. Yuri, thanks ever so much for dropping your people off. Uh, I will um, give them a, a rundown of what I've been up to uh, and then show them the, the cool stuff here at the, the Transformer factory. Um, again, I really appreciate the raid. All of my folks in chat, please go check out Yuri Makis on Twitch. The link is in the chat, and there should be like a little heart up here somewhere. Nope, other way, over there. Um, my name is Joel Duggan. I podcast and stream full time. I do the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs and the Citadel Cafe podcast with other friends. Uh, Citadel Cafe is about sci fi and fantasy entertainment. If you're playing Satisfactory, that is probably something in your wheelhouse. Uh, and then the um, Spawn Chunks podcast is all about Minecraft. There's a new episode of the Spawn Chunks out yesterday and a new episode of the Citadel Cafe coming this week. So you can check that all out at joelduggan.com or Joel Duggan on social media. I'm super easy to find. And we have been building Transformer-themed factories. So this is the train station that's bringing everything in to Devastator. And this is the nighttime shot because, of course, uh, we were just about to go on break before we raided. Uh, but this is where we have been uh, spending the last couple of streams getting this chest plate ready to go uh, this is the inspiration for the build you can sort of see some of the shapes in the chest plate on the far right and the far left uh, we didn't go too much for the v we went more for like a an eagle kind of wing spread rather than something that was too angular uh, but the um the decepticon symbol in the middle there is actually just a bunch of little signs and they're all just lit up pixel art uh, which was, I think it was, is it this one? Yeah, so we did a little pixel art thumbnail for the Decepticon symbol, and then we used signs to light it up in, like, the chest area for, for Devastator. So what we were doing when you all piled in was working on this right-hand side here, making it look a little bit more uh, interesting, some different shapes, uh, and some details and stuff happening there, and then we'll probably add in the same sort of details over there. Uh, Kasakas, thanks very much. Appreciate it. So this is the kind of level of detail we are currently working on. And really what I should do is count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be about the same. Yep. Very bright. Um, and that just, just goes up to a square. So on this side, all we were doing was just grabbing these and mining them up. And we had used concrete, but I just realized we could totally just use walls here. So I can change that to something a little bit less invasive. Out of plates. Jason, thanks so much for being here. Come back whenever you can. Did everyone drink enough water? Good reminder, Nookie. I always have water and coffee on hand. 
I didn't quite see in chat what was uh like I know it was factorial, but like what level or I guess to the best of my understanding, like where is Yuri in factorial these days? Donoraf, thanks for the lurk, appreciate it. Oh, I just see the raid messages, no real updates. I guess we still have the same problem back here. I really wish that the colors were consistent from one piece to the next. It would make life a lot easier. That is too bright. Like, it's hard on my eyes. I can only imagine what it's like on yours. And then on the ends, we've got to change it, right? And I don't remember how far we had to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just about there. At least for the face of it. Add the depth afterwards. Take a break before daytime is fully here. You are probably right, Sandy. And that will give the people that just came in with Yuri's raid a chance to look around the save. So they'll see the Megatron power plant. They'll see the roundabouts. They'll see the... I mean, everything's a work in progress, but we'll give them a good tour. Uh, good call. Appreciate the heads up. Uh, let's go Megatron construction 2. That all looks good, actually. Sweet. So folks, what I do once an hour is I take a break, uh, give myself a chance to reheat my coffee. You get to ride the brake train. I will be back in about five or seven minutes. Plus you get to see the server. Or the server. <laughs> Minecraft brain. You get to see the, the save, all the builds. Or as much of them are on the train line as possible.
Alright, let's see if I can actually get the music to stop playing. Not sure why that doesn't always clue in. Uh, for folks that are new, this is Megatron, the power facility. It's 60,000 megawatts of diluted fuel. It's overkill now because they changed the recipes in 1.0. So the top floor we actually don't need. But uh, I may keep it there and then just try to add additional um, fuel coming in. I don't know. I have not decided yet what's going to happen there. We could also try to turn it into turbo fuel, but there's no coal nearby that I know of. We'd have to train it in. One point twenty one gigawatts? Not quite. Not quite. It's a really cool facility, I just wish I had time to finish all of that stuff. I'd like to sort out more of these tracks too. There's a lot of temporary stuff. Eventually, I'd like to have this train station here be a place where our, our goods for our storage is being dropped off. That would be excellent. And where were we? We were over here. I feel like it it's actually looks pretty cool from the back. We might be able to utilize some of that and have it, um, have it be consistent in the front and the back. That could be kind of fun. I guess we could try to do the triangle walls, couldn't we? Wait, no, that doesn't go there. We ran like that, and then I guess we used foundations. can't do that.
Uh, maybe we'll just do it here. Oh, that is... Did that happen on the other side? I don't think it did. I did something different there. I went out an extra. Oh, yeah. I went wider over here, didn't I? Oh no, what happened? Oh, this, this is not here. There we go. And then this continues out to the side. Bally, hello, hello. there. And I think it went back by three foundations. One, two, three, yeah. So this is actually going to be a little bit farther back. good. This needs a little bump there. Originally, I had that come out to there, and this does come out a little bit here. I like the angle over here better. So I might bring this down a bit. Another hypertube that's going to have to move. All the way down there. We can just put that on the other side, I think. should do is maybe not cross the streams. And this 
this goes now down to there. Without having to rebuild the whole thing. Just do that. So I think I had at least one foundation of space. There's more room over here for sure. There's two. So without knowing what's happening up on top of this here, I haven't really made a decision as to how to shape these yet. So I'll just go up here. Not entirely sure about this. We could do it that way. I feel like it does help. I might want to go at a slightly better angle. But I know I can at least... Uh, let's move this down lower. So you can probably just put it up here. that anymore. Fixes that. And then I can put one of you there. At least for now. That might be a little bit too complicated or convoluted. We'll have to see. I do like that overlap. Do we like... Do we like these or do we think we, they need a little bit more... I guess, Transformer-esque type shapes. I almost want to use two big pillars here. Oh, but then that covers up that stuff back there. I don't know.
Hmm. I mean, it looks better than nothing, so I guess we'll start with that. can always come back to it and change it later. I've got the feeling I put several of them in the inside the walls. Gets us a little bit closer. Uh, did you decide on the create mod Minecraft topic yet? What do you mean topic? If I do create in Minecraft, I'm probably just going to do whatever vanilla is plus create plus like a map or something like that. Like nothing crazy. It wouldn't be a playthrough that's going to last very long. I'll eventually want to get back onto the Citadel and do stuff. Oh, what mods do I want? Yeah, I'm just going to go with performance mods. Uh, there's just too much. You go down the rabbit hole of just like, and the next thing, like, you go down this rabbit hole, the next thing you know you're playing like this huge modded playthrough, which is not what I want. So that gets us kind of like a basic, basic shape. I feel like I want to start practicing um, kind of taking things through in complete stages first. So getting the overall shape first done for everything and then going into the details. Those are going to stay. That's all concrete. Looks like this is all going to be black. I like the ideas of these being tunnels, at least for a little bit. I need to figure out like what the thickness is for this wall. I feel like I need to make that decision. We've got... Starts here... At least three. I think that should give us enough room to play with. Or maybe we should count from out here. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe to there. Now, can we do inside and outside? This is just the top layer.
I'm not sure if that's going to feel claustrophobic. No, that's pretty good. Now, what are you hooked up to? One of four. So you're really you're not hooked up to anything. You're just a floater. That gives us some tunnel room to play with. That gives us some depth to play with along here as well. And if I want to make this the same. Now we have to move some of these. I remember where that goes. I think that's the big one. Yeah, that's a long one. It's going to be really interesting to get all of these sorted into their proper corridors. I'm trying to remove extra pieces where I don't need them. Yeah, I think that's pretty beefy. It gives us enough room to maneuver around a bit. And then this is where... Well, that's the inside wall there. That's actually not that much room. We've got some depth happening here. A little bit. Okay. I'm not sure where the outside is. Oh, there it is there. Okay. Now I'm starting to see the shape on the inside here too. Oh, right. 
Right, 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 right. That goes outside. That goes like that. It's starting to feel a little bit better about where things are. I don't know if we need this anymore. This is just meant to measure like the height for the train station. We could probably come up with a better way for the train to actually come in here too. I mean, this thing going down is not great. I think I would rather have this be uh, flat. Oh, I see what I did. Okay, so what we'll do is that be forward and then we'll do a reverse underneath still haven't messed around with stairs very much like that. Now I feel that this is probably going to end up being more than just one foundation thick. It'll probably be at least two. And for the sake of argument and ease, we might as well make it thick on the inside. Although, I guess that's and defeats the purpose, keeping things lined up. You can't tell which way these things face, unfortunately. Now I could make that go higher. The penguin dude, hello, hello. Correct, you are not late. So eventually the train will just go straight. Uh, so I'd imagine that all of this will be a nice solid bottom for it to be on. Right now we're just kind of zigging and zagging around the hypertubes because they're in the way. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
guess for now we'll just pull this in. I feel like this was a lighter gray. Much lighter gray. I'm not even sure what swatch that is. Default. Once we had some lights in there, I think that could be kind of cool. We had some like, uh, I'm not sure what you want to call them, like track lights. Especially with the reflective surface of the um, coated concrete. I mean, I will do purple for now. Could also do red or something. I feel like when you're going inside the core of a robot or the core of a factory, sometimes it's better to have it look like it's hot or molten or something's being processed or whatever. But Oh, that's cool. Definitely feels like an intake. And we can work on the shape of that a little bit too. Yeah, we're going to be recording a new episode of um, Citadel Cafe this week, Zero. We're going to be talking about uh, Arcane. That's the new, the new thing. so sure about this down here. I think those need to be a bit sturdier looking maybe. I think this has to feel like maybe one piece. Yeah, I don't know about this gap here, but I do, that's four meters, that's eight meters, maybe we'll do two.
And we could use this maybe as a space for the hypertube. I feel like that feels a little bit better. I just realized those were purple. I feel like we need to bring these out as well. We just have to mirror this. Don't know about the inside color, we may have to change that. Don't know if I want it to be that light. Oh right, we run into that problem over here. Where I don't want to get rid of that. Something about this feels very flimsy. I think it's that this needs to be higher. about that though I guess we could just raise this up by a meter it's a little bit better this still feels not quite right And we're losing the sun, so now is definitely a good time to jump out for another break. Stay on top of those today. Once again, folks, I step away about once an hour. It gives me a chance to zap the coffee. It gives you a chance to grab a friend, let them know about the stream. We'll be right back in five or seven minutes.
And I just found out that the train over here is on too much of an incline for it to actually stop properly at the intersection. So we've got one train that's not functioning. So I'm going to fix that while we're out here. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, that train needs to come over here, I think. Question is, can we do that? Looks like we've got the spot. So it would come into here at that junction. Don't know if we have enough. I could have it split here. That's certainly doable to go in, but then to come out. Yeah, you know what? That should be fine. That should be fine. We should be able to get that to turn over to there, no problem. Terribly worried about the walkway. So this should be able to get over here. I'm trying to remember how this would go. I think it's four foundations. We're going to be able to do that in time. We will figure that out. Not there. This may make it. I feel like we can still go down this level, no problem, no. Sends that up. On the side where the train is stuck, can you raise the track earlier so it doesn't stop on the slope? Uh, yeah, but I want to get rid of all that anyway, because I want to use this roundabout and not have an not have an additional intersection. That's all. Right. 
Right, so that's going to be too close. there. So close. I do it here, plus two, one, two. Like that works. This is, again, temporary fix. That will go down to there, and then this breaks off here. We'll have to back that up a bit eventually. the same thing over here. It looks a little bit funny. It kind of dips a bit. Ooh, we may not be able to get up high enough fast enough here. This is going to be attaching at a different point because we are going to need more space to turn this around. Two, three. Uh, or maybe not. Yeah, it's going to go right to the exact same spot. I'll come back this way and then we just have to get this to go up we could start sending it up on the turn this could be okay
So I could start here. This should work. Oh, no, I need. That's one, two, three. three. So this is going to be up here. And this be down here, I guess. As long as this connects to there, good. Yeah, it's a little, a little squirrely. I don't know if the train's gonna make it up that. It's kind of steep. We might have the same problem, right? Like it might have to stop at approach here. Depending on what's going on. Uh, we just need to have block signals. And that should be okay. And that's blocked because there's a train on it. That should be working. We just have to test it now. I guess I have to turn off the self-driving. Wait for one of these guys to go through. I think one's going up, one's coming down. He's gonna wait for our other train, which is fine. Yeah, this is far too steep, I guess. Did anybody feel like the train on my last break was going really slow? I was watching it for a little bit and I feel like it was going slow. can grab this guy and get him off the tracks. Vampirium Live! Raiding with a party of four. Thanks very much, Vampirium. Give me a second here to get off the track. And back up. Back up, back up, back up. Welcome in, Raiders. Are you gonna let me... No, you're not gonna let me do that. Okay, fine. I'll get rid of this then. Fine. 
So then he should be clear. And we'll have to hang here and wait to see what happens with Scavenger. Uh, welcome in. You're playing Dragon Age Inquisition. A Kinari Mage playthrough. Very cool. I've never played Dragon Age, but it is on my list of things that I should have been playing over the years. Um, I have not always had access. One of these days I'll upgrade my Xbox Game Pass to Ultimate, which will give me EA Play and then I'll be able to um, to take a take a look at it. Um, are you have you tried the new one, uh, the Vanguard? I've heard that. Yeah, I know there's this heavy story emphasis. I've heard that the Vanguard dialogue is pretty pretty gross. Uh, but welcome in everyone. Thanks very much, ever so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. So I think that's Scavenger there, and you're gonna go around. And down that way and I want to see how easily you come and go good stuff all looks good so far you'd play origins first I uh, and you don't you have it but you don't like um, Vanguard yeah I've heard pretty mixed views of Vanguard I really wish my trains would render in properly I don't know why they don't there's no reason why they shouldn't. While we're waiting, we can delete some of this stuff. I don't think any other trains have been messed up. None of this is needed at all anymore. should just turn around so he left the track obviously okay now there's no other traffic coming but so imagine the only issue is if the train again has to pause on that slope one two three four five six seven yeah I get, we're getting close to maybe needing a second lo locomotive with that guy which i did not plan for at all in my uh in my design of of the Devastator train station. There's no room for, um, no room for, um, extra locomotives. Um, put the train last. Yeah, I could, I could do that. Yeah, I could, I could put the locomotive on the back. That would be the, the way to do it for sure. This will eliminate this as like a crossroads. And I think that means that I can finally get rid of this ugly thing. Huzzah. Yeah, this is all now supporting absolutely nothing. Good stuff. Early days. This was built and it is very cathartic to have it be removed. The kind of stuff where you build, you know, early in the game before you really know what you're doing, but then you never go back to delete it because you've moved on and you're never in the area very much anymore. And yeah, this is gonna make this look a lot nicer through here. Delete you. Lone. 
load anything. That's not great. Oh. And the game crashed. Amazing. Soon, as soon as I couldn't select something, I knew that was going to be a problem. Hold on. In the week that we've been back, that's the second crash. So that's not terrible. I'm just waiting for Satisfactory to cloud sync before I can relaunch. Oh, I think my saves are every 20 minutes. I may have to, I may have to um, redo a lot of that. Uh, it's only seven minutes ago. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Are you going to load in, Mr. Game? There we go. I wonder if it's like this particular piece specifically that caused the crash. Could have also been just deleting too much stuff when trains are going by, I don't know. Like I said, my, my train rendering is really squirrely at the moment. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into more stuff like that as we've been building because you know, I've been putting down like a lot of parts in Devastator for that that chest plate, you know, which, oh my gosh, you can actually see that from here. Like the lights don't render in, but still like, that's crazy. We are very far away. Hear one coming. We're just going to let you roll on by. And I can actually probably throw in my little design here. Oh, which one is it? Two rail support, floating platform, rails and block signals, no rails and block signals. Nope. I want gray one, I guess. Yeah. Next time I can't select something, remind me to uh, save the game immediately.
Loading rails. Almost all the way back. To Devastator. Oh yeah, I've got the game set to save every 20 minutes, I think. What is the autosave on? Uh, options... 20, yep. I will, however, save it now. Um, Devastator 293, we're looking at a uh, scavenger route fix. Now this is meant for the trains. It does have the power cable on it, so I feel like I can probably just connect you to you and then delete all of this. It's the kind of thing you get carried away with. You start building a temporary build and then next thing you know you've like designed it to look cool even though it's was only meant to be here briefly. Uh, that is also train support. Yeah, it doesn't look so much nicer. I mean, these still look weird going down at an angle like that, but I don't really know how to solve that yet. Hey, look, a train going my way. I'm going to hop a ride. You're going to be going nice and slow coming down this slope. Sort of. It's funny, you don't really, um, you turn, but not nearly as well when you're not in the train. M, hello, welcome in. Is that when a temporary build just becomes a permanent build? Well, I guess it depends on when you're happy with it, right? Let's go down the side. So I can actually see what's going on. We're getting there. I got a funny feeling I'm going to need to punch these walls back a little bit, otherwise this is going to feel very claustrophobic. I don't want it to feel like it's in an alley, you know? I think I need to make a version of these that have purple, and we'll use blue for Autobots, and then we'll use purple for Decepticons, maybe? Or maybe red for Autobots, I don't know. But I feel like having a couple of different colors to kind of match your builds would be cool. That kind of stuff. Uh, not necessarily a head, I don't think so. 
He does. I mean, obviously, he does have one. Um, I like the red visor, so we might make kind of like our hub slash cockpit area at the top of the factory sort of inspired by his head, but I don't think it's going to look exactly like his head. It might it might be fun to do that. I don't know. There's still a lot that I'm kind of winging as we go. Uh, at this stage, I'm trying to think about like what is the most logical thing to do next. I really feel like this is going to need to go a little wider. Yeah, I think at this point I want to start to um, think about what might be happening inside. Divide it into floors. So we know that we've got this floor here. And then this top floor here. And that essentially goes probably to about there. Certainly two more foundations in this way. What I should do is change this to be the concrete. Oh, I can't do that. All right, I'll make this one then. That is one of our floors. Next one is up here. So we have like a logistics floor above our trains. And then we've got probably a ceiling at this level. And that means we've got one, two, three, four. Well, let's use this one. One. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we could do three floors of four just to kind of kick us off. That's assuming that I don't want to have any logistics in between. So it would probably be better to go with um, five, two logistics floor, and then one, two, three, four, five. 
And then more stuff on top of that, I think, would be a good way to do this. I think that kind of makes sense. It helps me wrap my head around things a little bit. This floor is going to go up by three, but this also might come in a little bit. I missed a sub. M, thanks very much. Sorry about missing that uh, a few minutes ago. Prime sub, 16 months, M. That's amazing. Thank you ever so much. Very, very kind of you. How did I miss that? Jeez. So one of the things I want to do up here, which I think would be very cool, uh, would be um, including things like the um, the crane and the other pieces of him. Uh, he's got these cool kind of like almost cockpits. There's some caution black and yellow things. I really like this the image on the far right. The way that you can kind of see like the 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 cockpit so we could probably add in something like that could rough in some things creates a nice asymmetrical look to everything so in game we could um have something along here I don't know how far this is going to go out. I think I wanted to have it have an edge. Yeah, his shoulders are going to go up there too. And they're probably going to be out that way. But his, his mid, I guess, neck section, I guess, sort of has like a lot of lead up to it. that should be or how thick it should be that might be too much no maybe not might be a little tall But then on this side, right at the very edge, and this goes out again. I feel like we could add something cool here, like I guess I'd have to I'd have to be kind of beholden to whatever the angles are on the windows. And I don't know that we can change the angles on the windows. 
We don't really have an angled window wall. It's just like an angled window roof. And the steepest there is four meters, and that's not what I want. So we will probably have to do something a little bit more unique where the section is angled, but then the windows are flat. No idea how this is going to look. Well, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm not sure if you can sort of uh, see what I'm going for. It's not really in that image. I guess it's more in this one. If you look at the far right-hand side... The big, the big image on the right, he's got this, uh, there's like a window, um, there's a windshield wiper and, and uh, train tracks, not train tracks, but like a, a tread, truck tread. I think we can probably work in some cool stuff there. This, I think, needs to be higher contrast. Yeah, maybe even darker. Nice. I wonder what this would look like if I took it down a little bit at the end. That could be cool too. Something like this could be neat. And we could figure out a way to make it look a little bit more angular and more like it's designed to be part of the Transformers. But now... really not very big it's almost just for decoration maybe i'd have to come up with a cool reason for it cool um use for it in here maybe this is could be like electronics or something i don't know storage manual storage i don't know and thanks sam glad you like it
So I was thinking that a place like this might be a good spot to keep our storage. But then again, it could also be cool to have the storage on... I guess... Oh, yeah, me putting that logistics floor there would be weird because it's going to block whatever we have going on here. I feel like I need to start to get rid of some of this stuff too. Because you spend a fair amount of time like in your storage area and I feel like I want it to have it be something that's nice and open. So I don't know that this would be the spot for it because of course, I mean, we could put the Decepticon symbol backwards here, facing inward, that would be kind of cool. But then I'd want to be, I guess the layers are going to be here. If they're going to be even. Yeah, that's a tough one. Because there's a whole lot of nothing happening underneath this, too. We just need the space for whatever giant train station is going to be in here. I also have to make sure I leave room for wherever we're going to put the stairs or the elevators, uh, hyper tubes to go up and down. I feel like that can probably live up in this corner. be really fun to have like a permanent storage area for this for this factory this save plus i gotta figure out what other things i want to store here yeah i'm not entirely sure about that logistics floor what do we think do we do we think that it would be better to have the um storage maybe up here although you really can't see anything until you get like to the edge so there's no point in having like if you're going to be in your storage room back here it's not like you're going to be able to see anything only when you come up here would you be able to actually see what's going on Planning to add interdimensional storage to the storage area? Oh, for sure. Mm. Well, I say that. And I already have, when I combine the saves, I already have the dimensional depots hooked up to Wheeljack. So, maybe not. It's 
speaking of, like, are we still, like, sinking, like, tons and tons of stuff? Yeah. A lot of this stuff is getting destroyed. I'm not sure where all of our... Well, there's aluminum casings. Where's our aluminum sheets? Oh, there they are, there. Man, the guts down here are really all over the place. That kind of adds a fun asymmetry to it. I mean, it's not going to stay looking exactly like that, but it's not terrible. I think I need to mirror what's happening over here. So we were on this bottom level, and it goes out by one. So it's one, two, three... Okay, I think I've done that. Is that this isn't on an angle? Right, okay. I do find sometimes when you're doing uh, this kind of work, there's a lot of like staring at reference material and trying to figure out like how to do the shapes. The best way to go about it is down on this level. I think I did that right. Three to the top of there. Uh, no, that's wider. Not that we can't have this go in here. That goes all the way back, I think. Yeah. What am I missing here? Something is definitely different. I know that there's an angle here that I have to do. Well, that's not flat. That's an angle. Word Nerdify, subscribing, 28 months, tier 1. Thanks ever so much. Good to see you, Word Nerdify. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. I 
think that's getting close to being symmetrical. Obviously, it's a different shape building. This just goes up by two, and that also is farther ahead here. Oh no, it's in the same. I don't know if I like that. It feels really tight. But that I have to keep because of the stairwell on the other side. Feels a little bit more symmetrical. I feel like this whole back wall might have to be gray. Kind of help it stand out a bit. Wouldn't be bad to have some overlapping textures here either. did like that, didn't I? It might be simpler to just have it go straight back. I just, this feels like such a big flat plane. We're gonna have to do something with that in order for that to work. We'll have to add some vertical stuff to it or some angles or something. It's difficult without knowing how this is actually gonna go. I feel like I could probably add some depth here for the window, have this be the window area. But then that's off center too, right? Anyway. Well, I think that's going to be a decent spot for me to wrap things up. We made a decent amount of progress on uh, the details on, I'm not sure what you want to call it, his rib cage or the, the undercarriage for the, the chest plate. Uh, there's a lot of um, spacing and stuff that has to be done. And I think in some ways I have to leave these floors in behind um, for when I know what I'm going to be putting on them and making the decision as to where the central storage is going to be I think is going to be what I want to build around I, I, I find that unsatisfactory you definitely want to know where things are going before you start sending things in a certain direction I think having a destination is really helpful for that kind of stuff 
Um, but it looks like all the other stuff is flowing. I don't see... Our trains don't appear to be stuck anywhere. All the trains are moving, so that's good. Managed to fix that problem. Uh, I will pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory, though. Just let me see if I can find somebody that's live. Do 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 do. Lots of factorial people. Looks like I'm Kibitz is live. I'm sure you will enjoy that time. Kibitz is a fantastic, satisfactory creator. I'm sure you'll have a good time there. Thanks ever so much for all of the subscriptions today, folks. Uh, kicked off the week with a hype train. Uh, I lost count of how many people resubbed today. So welcome back to all the people that are continuing to support the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord in between streams. You can follow me at Joel Duggan on social media. I'm available pretty much uh, anywhere that you want to hang your social media hat. The Spawn Trunks has a new episode out that is about the Ender Pearl mechanics and the new Snapshot. Uh, you can find that at the Spawn Trunks on YouTube or uh, wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Same place for the Citadel Cafe, favorite podcast app, or the Citadel Cafe on YouTube is where you can go to listen to that. Uh, right now, the current episode is about Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. I will be recording hopefully tomorrow with Steven about the first three episodes of season two of Arcane, which is also the final season for Arcane, which is based on uh, League of Legends and the whole Rune Terra thing. So should be a really good conversation. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. That's uh, Wednesday at 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus four hours for those of you around the world. And uh, again, enjoy the rest of your afternoon with I'm Kibitz. I will see you folks later. Bye for now.